Hello, my name is Aid, and welcome to our kitchen garden. Well, it's been a while, hasn't it, since we sat down and talked like this. But summer's here, crops are growing, flowers are blooming, and I thought I'd show you what's going on out there. As gardeners, we all know two seasons are never the same. And this season, my biggest challenge has been the aubergines. I normally find they're very easy to grow in the greenhouse. I simply leave the door open, the wind bustles in, knocks the pollen around, and they set fruit but for some reason this year, they're a little behind. So I've been helping them along with a simple paintbrush, very small nib, going into one of the flowers, and as they have both male and female parts, you just give them a little tickle. Then you go to the next flower and repeat the process. And that will help set the fruit, and in a few weeks from now, hopefully we can be enjoying aubergines. But I'm not too worried. This is something that's happened on and off over the years, and it's just another job I have to do. The plants look nice. Having a gardening space is fantastic, whether it's an allotment or a kitchen garden. However, sometimes you've got to think about space. How much space you've got to grow, what can go where, and if you haven't got enough space, what do you do? Well, for us in the kitchen garden, we love squash, and we grow squash and pumpkins every year, but they do take up a lot of space. So for the last few years, and especially now as I've got the kitchen garden, I've been growing skywards. And in the kitchen garden, we've got this thing I call the garden Dalek. And on it, I've got four trailing squash. The fruit are setting and I couldn't be happier. We've got squash everywhere. I've got them in the wildflower bed. I've got them hanging over raised beds and I've got them trailing over the arch. I've even got them now growing up the side of the house. We can't get enough of them. But I know space is an issue. So as a gardener, think about what you're growing. Think about how to grow it and where to grow it. And you'll find there's always room for another bit of veg. But it hasn't all been plain sailing. We've had our challenges. And one challenge has been our strawberries. Come and have a look. So this is one of our fruit beds. When I first created the kitchen garden and I was digging foundations and paths, I tended to dump all the soil here. And last year, I didn't know what to do with it. So I just threw on wildflower seeds, flower seeds, and it thrived with beads and bees and butterflies. So I thought this year I'll turn it into a fruit bed. And so I've planted two step over trees, one an apple, one a plum. Back there I've got a peach, hanging baskets, and then behind me I've got a fig tree and more rhubarb. But then I decided for the first time ever to plant all my strawberries in the ground. Up to now I've always grown them in hanging baskets and they've done really well. And also because they're lifted in the air, they look good and they're kept away from pests. However, all was about to change. This season, we had a good crop of strawberries, but I've probably lost a third of them to both field mice and wood lice. So I'm thinking next season, these strawberry plants are gonna go back into hanging baskets and raised beds. But that's okay, it's all part of the journey and the learning curve. So if you have a kitchen garden or allotment or you're growing veg, what should you be doing right now? Well first, it's the tomatoes. They're growing well, they're setting fruit, but you need to keep them healthy, you need to keep them strong. So now's the time to cut away the lower foliage, giving the plant ventilation, letting the fruit see the sun so it can ripen. Also keep them well watered and fed weekly. Something else to consider is, as you start to harvest your crops, gaps will appear in your beds. So it's time to think about your autumn veg. For me, I've been sowing carrots, parsnips. In the greenhouse, I'm growing my autumn brassicas, that's cauliflower, early sprouting broccoli, broccoli, cabbage, uh, I've got swede, and all those things will go into the gaps in the next few days. Of course, as the weather hottens up and crops start to harvest, the key here is to keep picking. 
By keep picking your veg, such as beans and courgettes, they will keep producing fruit. If you don't pick, they will set to seed and you will lose that plant. The other side to that is gluts. Like you, we've all been living through lockdown, but for gardeners we've been thriving and our gardens and allotments have never looked so good. And for us, it's the same story. We've spent so much time in the garden, we've grown so much in the kitchen garden and now it's all coming to fruition and I couldn't be happier. But rather than me talk about it, let me show you. Well, that's about it from me. I do hope you enjoy these videos. And of course, if you have anything to ask, do get in touch. But for now, enjoy your gardens, enjoy your allotments, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.